Stop! Cookie time! Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Ah, cookies. One of the most delectable treats known to man that you also desperately try to avoid buying at the grocery store because you're trying to be healthier, but inevitably you circle back to get because your willpower is not stronger than the almighty cookie. You know that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think if I just knew more about the history of my favorite cookies, like say when they were first invented, I'd be less likely to eat so many of them. Of course, I know that makes no logical sense, but it does provide a strange motivation for us as we compete in shuffleboard. It's time for the shuffleboard game, cookies edition. Welcome to the shuffleboard game zone. Yeah, in each round we're gonna be given a particular cookie from a specific brand. And we're gonna taste that cookie and then we're gonna guess what decade that cookie from that brand was first released to the public by shuffling our cookies down to the decade. Whoever's closest to the actual year wins the round, and the loser at the end of the game will have to become the Mythberry Doughboy and will have to respond to belly pokes with his best doughboy giggle through Good Mythical More. <laughs> Let's get to shuffling. Start cookie time. Chips Ahoy! Oh, yeah. oh, you, you want a classic? Oh, gosh. Is this, is this it's a cookie jar? Is this glued? No, it's screwed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. You're screwed. Hmm. Mm. What, no, what no, you, you just do? Try to get it in the back of your throat? Is that how you eat now? They're so crumbly. Mm. Um, now, I know you like the soft batch. This is the original that I'm assuming came out before the soft batch. It could be 1890 or it could be 1990. It could be any decade in between. I went last time, so I'm going first. Okay, this is a classic cookie with a pun. Chips Ahoy is a pun on Ships Ahoy, get it? We tend to forget that, so I'm glad you brought that up again. Yeah. You know, it's like people tend to overlook it. So puns haven't been around forever. I don't think the cavemen had puns. I think this is pretty early, 1910. Gracious. You think that's really early, huh? Yeah. Going for 1910. It's a fast one, up. It's a fast board today. Oh, but you've nestled there beside okay, it. Okay, I got the right distance, but I'm not touching it. Okay. These cookies have a little spin thing that happens. Like, you gotta watch out for them. 1910. Was Nabisco even around then? I think the latest we're going is like 1930. And your answer was 1910. I'm going in between 1930 and 1940, hopefully. Okay, all right. Aggressive move? Not really, I just felt like I should say that. Whoa. Stop, 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 whoa, stop, whoa, stop, whoa, stop, whoa. stop, stop, nice. stop! Hey. Oh, the four quadrant placement, I like I that. I don't believe it is possible for you to lose at this point. Yeah, say that again. While the Chewy Chips Ahoy took the market by storm in 1983. Love them. The original version of the iconic Nabisco classic has been navigating the high grocery store seas since 1963. So! What, really? 1963? Yeah, see, They're not that... so old. recent. Not that old. That's like yesterday. Yeah. You're definitely closer, you take the lead. And now we have... Wow! Oh, you don't oh, hit the lights, oh, man. Oh, it's okay, everything's okay. They're wrapped in metal. I can't Nail tell you how, how many times I hit the lights in my own kitchen. So I, I know what it feels like. Probably once a month. Is it when you unclose the dishes? It's just when I gesture. I got these like two globes in our kitchen and it's like right there. Mm. You do get very gestury in your kitchen. Nilla wafers, man. These are good. Make you want to put them on a hat. Mm. And right on top of some banana pudding. They're so vanilla-y, wafery. All right, you're in the lead. You go first, friend. <laughs> man, I'm gonna get another one of those. I like that. I like the chipmunk them. It's in there. I think these have been around longer than, than Chips Ahoy. Definitely. We're talking pre-1960. There is no 1950 on the board. So I'm going for the exact same placement as last time in between 30 and 40. I know what that feels like. My official answer is 1940. Gentle, gentle, and short. Hmm. He did not go the distance, people. Maybe that'll work to his advantage, you're thinking. No. You know what? In spite of himself, Link does some things correctly. Link, I think, I think I gotta bump you. Well, you only get one bump a game. I think you're in really good position. You're on top of 1900? Yep. Um, I think it's 30 or 40. I but, said 40 officially. 
I mean, you're in a pretty good spot for 30 and 40, and I'd have to get behind you and stop. Ugh, I think I gotta bump you, man. He's using his bump. Such an early stage of the game, this may come back to bite him. But I gotta bump you in a way that just gets you out of the way and doesn't bump you all the way back into the right answer. This is maybe not a great idea. Ooh, that's exciting. Come on back. I am now in 1960, which has been taken, and you've made a play for 1920. Who's closer to 1930 is really the question. We might have to get the measuring tape out for that. Although they weren't called Nilla wafers until the 1960s, Nabisco has been producing these delicious vanilla wafers, which happens to be the original name, ever since 1898. Whoa, wow. 1898, what? They have been around the block. Okay, I, I didn't even need to use my bump, but I did. But I took the round. Which I. Hey, we want to invite you to check out our podcast. If you've never listened to it, you might think it's a rewarding experience to hear two lifelong best friends talk about life for a long time. You might. Boy, we get into it. And there's a video version. There's an Ear Biscuits channel on YouTube. So check that out. Uh, there's also the audio version wherever podcasts are found. <laughs> and there's also, ooh, E.L. Fudge Elf Witch. I wouldn't have been able to tell you the name of this. No. I just call it the Keebler Elf cookie. Well, there's a lot of different Keebler Elf cookies. It says uncommonly good on it. This is big. I may have never had this. What Hold on, this? they got different names. There's like fudge on the inside. Fast Eddie, Ernie, dunk head first. Oh, you dunk them all head first. I'm a fan of the Keebler Elf. Like I've always enjoyed the commercials and on Saturday morning cartoons. Great campaign. But I've never had these in my house. It's yeah. a good cookie. It's a fudge sandwich. Fudge is just a sandwich. We're tied again, so I go back to going first. Um, mm. I consider this a rather advanced cookie. It's two cookies and fudge in between. There was a time in which they couldn't do that. I mean, you gotta have a machine to do that. Of course, machines have been around since 1890. That doesn't help me. Hmm, I don't know. I would have said this was a 50s or 60s thing. 50s not on the board, 60s been taken. So I'm gonna try to nestle in between 40 and 70. Okay. And see what happens. Whoa! Whoa! You're accurate with your placement, but are you accurate with your guess? I have no idea. I think you're on the right track with how these things are made, but in their first iteration, they might not have been as fancy, so it may be around longer than we think. It could be the 80s, but I think you're right, so I'm gonna have to bump you. Oh. I'm gonna bump you into the 90s. I wanna box you out from 80s, too, because it they could have been in the 80s. There's a, there's a lot going on. You're trying to accomplish a lot with this bump. Bumping you to the right of the 90s. Oh gosh, that didn't work. <laughs> well, I mean the bump ability of these cookies is frustrating. Dang it. That was a frustrating bump. Dang it, I wasted my bump and I screwed myself. <laughs> if you can believe it, the Keebler company has been kicking it since the 1850s. They've amassed popularity with tons of different pastries and snacks over the years, but E.L. Fudge is one of their most recent creations, first introduced in 1980. 87. Oh, wow. Your, your intentions were so pure, but your execution was so bad. Nasty. Wow. Oh! You've knocked it's, over the Oreos. It's Oreos. Yeah. Mm, this the is a good classic. Cookie. Seems like it's been around forever. Mm. But who knows, man? I'm in the lead. Go first. Oh, not so fast, brother, because we both used our bumps. We need to consult with the rules. And of course, we've had the rule book scroll here all along. Unsheath the rule book or the rule scroll. Scroll, O oh, shuffle rules, dictate every single rule that exists. You, you thought we were just coming up with it all along the way? No, it's, it's been on this scroll the whole yeah, time. Yeah, this stuff is canon, and it's been around since the beginning. Okay. So up here, you should see that there is the one bump rule, and a bump is a bump is a bump is a little bit further down. And then a little bit further down, if you'll just read from the scroll of shuffle rules. If a player has already exhausted his bump, no, in the next, there's a lot of bumps. If a player has exhausted his bump and then grazes, no. If a player has already exhausted his bump and then accidentally bumps, no. If, a, if an illegal bump occurreth <laughs> and the bump player finds, no. 
When an illegal bump doth occurreth, the offending player's puck is moved. Nope. Should a player still have thine bump and his puck hits the other puck? Ah! If both gentlemen have exhausted thine bumps, the losing player commences each round unless the game is tied. Then the winner of the afford game goes first. So, I'm winning, we both exhausted the bumps, which means you go first because you actually have a slight advantage going first because I can't, can't bump. bump. Ah, right. the scroll is always right. Don't, don't, don't look at it, you can't look at it directly. When it's rolled. The sacred drawer. Until next time. All right, you go so. first. Uh, this, I mean, the scroll set it. <clears throat> okay. Oreos. Man, they've been around a while. They're so classic. Uh -huh. But yeah. it's a complex cookie. I'm thinking 1910. So I gotta go for that 1910, 30, 40 quadrant. Ooh, that would be a good place. Yeah, right there in the middle. Because you know it's one of those. Come on, cookie. Oh, that's gonna be pretty. Oh, it stopped short, but that that's is a, a nice, bumpalicious location. That's a nice defensive uh, placement. Uh, wow. Yeah, better to go short than long when no bumps are available. So I gotta slide in around you. Man. It's interesting because 1910 and 1940 are sort of one option and 1900 and 1930 are an option. I'm trying to land as much in 1910 as I can. Man, this is so precise. I don't know if I've got what it takes. I don't think you do. Oh, that is really too going hard. far. Too hard. My only hope, my only hope, well, if it's 1930 or 40, I think I might be closer. Oreo, long known as one of America's favorite cookies, actually just celebrated its 109th birthday a couple of weeks ago. Ah, so if you do the math correctly, that must mean that Oreos were introduced all the way back in 1912. Wow, dang it. Woo, dang I'm back it. in this, y'all. Tie it again. For our final round, we have, Ooh. what is it? Biscoff and coffee. I've only ever had these on a plane. That's right. You ever had these not on a plane? This I'm, is weird to be I'm, on the ground. I've never dipped it in my cookie. Dipped it in your cookie? Yeah, me neither. I've never dipped. I did. I do the reverse dip with my coffee. Mm. I dip my coffee in my cookie. I've never had that before. Mm, it's it's, it's uh, better when you dip it in your cookie. Okay, we're tied. We both exhausted our bumps. And it's the final round. We just read this in the rule book. Not for the final round, though. But we read the... <laughs> Pull it all out. Oh, gosh, I pulled the whole drawer out. Okay. All right, take this. <laughs> According to what we just read a few seconds ago... Same rule, read it. Read the same rule again. If both gentlemen have exhausted thine bumps, the yep. losing player commences each round unless yep. the game is tied. Then the winner of the a four game, that's the last game, goes first. I don't know why the scroll says that, so but it you, does. You, <laughs> you won the last game, so, I get so now first. you get the advantage of going first. But hey, the scroll is never wrong. If it, hey, if it wasn't in the scroll, I wouldn't, I wouldn't believe it. Me neither. But it is. Well, okay. All right. The scroll has given as me much a... time as it takes to get this scroll out and put it back. It's still less time than us rederiving the rules every single time. <laughs> right. Uh, Biscoff. It looks old, feels old. 1900, 1930, and 1940 are in play. I'm going to try to do the Link Neal block move here that you did to me last time. All right. Where I try to get try. it to land right there in the center. It's not easy, not easily done. No, it's not. The Link Neal move is never easy. Pacing is good, but it stops short, and it gives Link Neal a window. I actually gave you a window into the decades that haven't been guessed. It would have been better to land on the left side. If I get caught up in the 1930, 1900 of it all, it could be 1970. It could be. Biscoff seems old. I'm gonna go past you, and I can get closer to 1970 and 1930, but I'm, I'm gonna have to give up 1900. Give it up, Link. Give up 1900. Hey, this is exciting. I mean, this is a close one. Let me have a coffee. So I'm going for the backside in 1930. Oh, what? What? Oh! 
Wow! All right. I think the only way I can win is if it's 1900. While many Americans may know Lotus Biscoff cookies as a complimentary snack option on Delta flights, Biscoff cookies, meant to be enjoyed with coffee, have been incredibly popular in Europe and across the world for decades. The empire born from a small bakery in Belgium began all the way back in 1932. Oh, yes. dang it! That was pretty good, man. I gotta Woo. hand it to you. I now, did it. I'm gonna be the myth buried doughboy. Every time you poke me, I gotta woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Noah. I'm Matt. I'm Mike. And we're from Arlington, Virginia. We just did an Oreo taste test. And now it's time to spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. <laughs> you can do it at home too. <laughs> Click the top link to watch us decide if something we've never had before, the Loft House cookies are actually good or not. They're controversial. And good mythical more. And to find out whether Will of Mythicality is gonna land. The mythical is happiness hoodie is the happiest hoodie you'll ever wear. Get your happiness on at mythical.com.